Okay, so I'm going to do some quick quick and dirty benchmarking between my 16-inch MacBook Pro and my 13-inch MacBook Pro. First, let's use Geekbench. Doesn't really matter, but I just thought I'd start them off at the same time. So I'm expecting the 13 inch to get 1700 on the single core and 7500 on the multi core. I'm not sure what to expect from the 16 inch MacBook Pro, but I imagine it'll be in the same neighborhood. <clears throat> Just trying to see this. This is a $1,300 laptop, and this is a $2,700 laptop. And I want to get an idea of how much more powerful this laptop is than this one. I'm actually expecting the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, uh, let me put in that caveat, that this single core score is going to be significantly higher than this single core score. So if this is 1700, I'm expecting this to be like 1200 for single core and you can actually notice it um, this laptop the 13 inch laptop feels significantly snappier yep so I was right on the money this is 1723 and 7572 for the multi-core Let's see what happens for the 16 inch. I think it's just about finishing up. This ought to be pretty interesting. I've seen other people do videos like this, so thought I'd do it. I can hear the fan spinning up. I know you all probably can't because I'm using a lapel mic. But I can hear the fan spinning up on this. Ooh, that's even worse than I thought it would be. As a matter of fact, that's bad enough to make me think something's going on. So, something's got to be wrong with this. So, I'm getting a single core of... 1052 and a multi core of 6070. That is significantly less. As a matter of fact, let's figure that out. 75.72 divided by. Sixty seventy. So multi core this sixteen inch laptop right now is benchmarking at twenty four percent slower than this thirteen hundred dollar computer. I gotta believe something's wrong with that. And the multi-core, or the single core, I should say, 1723 divided by 1052. The single core is 63%, well, 64% faster. Now, I expected it to be faster, but I didn't expect it to be that much faster.
All right, well, we're going to take it at face value and assume that that is what it is. Next thing, let's benchmark Octane under Safari. So Octane is a JavaScript uh, benchmark. It's really platform independent. You, you can run this on Chromebook, just kind of get an idea of how fast your laptop is. I'm gonna run this same Octane benchmark on my 16 inch. And it doesn't matter what time you, the timing of starting these tests, it doesn't matter. Or if it does matter, it doesn't matter in this particular situation because I am going to compare the raw benchmark numbers. So I got 61. 61,923 as opposed to 45,980. That is significantly faster. Okay, so the next thing we'll test out something called web speedometer. And again, this is going to be under Safari, just to get an idea of how fast it is. So 224 for the MacBook Pro M1. I'm running it on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I can tell you now it's going to be significantly slower. I'm going to guess it's about half as fast or a little more than half as fast. So I've benchmarked it in the past and it's been about 130. Now don't get me wrong, this is this is pretty fast, uh, but the, the MacBook M1 is in a class by itself when it comes to web, web browser performance. But the 16 inch is getting along pretty good, 133, okay. So in every one of these tests, this $1,300 laptop is faster than this $2,700 laptop. Now that can't be the case all around, so I am going to test out the graph, the we'll run a Geekbench on a graphics card. So for the compute, let's go ahead and run that benchmark. And I'm going to assume that the MacBook Pro 16 inch with its discrete graphics card is going to spank the MacBook Pro with the 13 inch graphics card. Uh, I'm sorry, with the integrated graphics card. Even though it's the new magical M1 chip. But I have no idea what the score is going to be. Okay. So 19,361 compared to 
29,954. So if you're not using a graphics card, I would say that the MacBook Pro 16 inch is generally speaking slower than the uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch with the M1 chip. So, can't think of any other benchmarks to run on this except maybe to actually run a game and see how they perform. Okay, so just for fun, I am going to fire up Bioshock 2. the remastered version on the Mac. Just to get an idea of how well this will run. So the speakers sound pretty good. On the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Frame rate looks really good. Now bear in mind that this is an emulated game so this is an Intel game running under Rosetta. Let's make sure the graphics options are all the way up. Yep. Graphics options are all the way up to The max Atlantic Express train station. 